Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the issue where this app can't run on your PC. This will apply for anybody who's trying to run an app and unfortunately you're getting this blue rectangle that comes up across horizontally your screen that says this app cannot run on your PC. Now I should note that this tutorial will apply for professional users of Windows 8 and Windows 10. This is not going to work for home users, at least not the method that I'm going to be demonstrating today because we are going to be going through the local security policy editor and unfortunately that is not available in lower end versions of Windows 10, which is very unfortunate. I've never really been a fan of that and I'm really disappointed Microsoft has continued to limit such critical functionality such as that, but what can you do? So we're just going to make this for professional users today. And we are going to start by opening up the start menu and we're going to type in local security policy. And the best match it comes up should say local security policy right above desktop app. So you want to left click on that. So I'm going to expand this view a little bit so we can see what we're working with. So now underneath the local policies, either double click on the local policies folder to expand this view or left click on the little arrow on the left side of it. Once you've done that, you want to left click on the security options folder right here. So now you want to scroll down to the user account control settings. You want to go to where it says user account control allow UI access applications to prompt for elevation without using the secure desktop. It says currently disabled. You want to double click on this and then move it up to enabled and then click on apply and OK. It should say enabled. So at this point you can close out the local security policy. I'd recommend restarting your computer and then try to run the application again. Now I should put a disclaimer that this will not work for everybody. This is a very generic issue. This was definitely not made for Windows Home users because they do not have this feature. But I'm just making that exceptionally clear and I'm sure some people will be posting in the comments that it did not work for them because they cannot find the security editor. Well, I should send them back to this part of the video and then I mean, we'll just go from there. So for the people that this tutorial was for, I do hope that it helped you out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.